Hi, today I'm going to show you how to take this acoustic guitar, it's an older one, cracked up top, I haven't played it for a long time. We're going to make it into a resonator guitar, or Dobro. Dobro is actually the brand name, and I like the sound, I like to play it now and then. It's a one day process, with a few tools, you need a router, sander, you know, basic stuff some of us guys have. I've started by removing the neck, easy adjustment later. So let's get started so we can play, be playing the blues by tonight. All right, we're going to start. We've got the Dobro cone. We've got our circle cutter. Sit there exactly in the center. Adjust your pencil to meet the 10-inch radius. Take this on over to your guitar. Here we know where the center is, where our saddle is going to sit for this. So we can just take right to there, go right in the center between the... The G and D, that on there, hold secure, make your circle, take your saw, okay now, cut this out, boom, gone, still have to remove the old braces, just take a chisel and cut those out. Here's my rim. This is used to be a banjo rim. I've cut it down. As you can see where the screws went in. This is all made from scrap. This is a door. An old door I had on a cabinet. I'm going to take this rim, set it on there. Come around in circles. I'm going to cut that out. We want this to be pretty close. It's so my circle. Take my saw again, and we'll get cutting that out. All right, here's my piece I just cut out. It's going to slip over the banjo rim, so I have a glue joint for going up on the guitar. I'm going to take some two-part epoxy, mix up correct amounts. Mix that all up. That will go around here and dry in five minutes. Okay, I'll give that ten minutes to dry. While that's drying, I'm going to take and take out these braces. Go easy. Go easy, brush. I'll come through and I took out the braces. Got a couple cracks here. It's okay because when we get the rim around there, it'll be really good. Come through and make sure all those braces are really flat. Okay, here's my rim. Glued on the piece of plywood I cut out onto the banjo rim. This is to help us glue it up. Take a block of wood with sandpaper. Level this out real good. Take your piece carefully. Stuff it in to the guitar box. Apply your glue. Take your clamps. Start out light. Eyeball this baby in there like so. Okay, I got it eyeballed. And glued. Alright, just like that. See, I've got an even amount all the way around. Double check this. This is an important measurement. You want this nice and even because when you come around and router this, your holes got to be centered with no buzzing. All right, here we are, all glued up. Nice and even. This will get it really flat. All right, now I've spread super glue over this right here, inserted a piece right here. Here's a new piece just slow and slide. Put this quick dry stuff on here. We'll just pop that on there like that. Okay, we're all glued up. Looking real good, nice and flat. Double checked everything. Got my router bit. Got a half inch offset, set about 5 16 inch deep. That way I can go deeper if I need to to accept the cone.
Okay, here we are routered out with the first cut. Here's my cone with the spider. I'm going to set that cone right in the spot. This it's nice and level. I'm going to take my neck and put it back into the spot. I'm going to take this straight edge and put it on here and see my reveal. I see I've got about a sixteenth of an inch and I want that to come up about that high. So we got to take this down about another eighth to three sixteenths of an inch. So I'm going to run my router back through here. Okay, I take my comb back in. I route it out deeper. Take my cone, straight edge. Let's find out where we're at. We've only got about an eighth of an inch rise right here. I want a little more. I take my neck back off. Turn this down. I've already done this a couple times on this guitar. Now I take my time again right here. That little bit off the back of that gave me exactly what I need. I got about a quarter inch going up here. By the time that bends down and everything settles, we're going to be we've got this all glued in. I adjusted the neck. I'm installing these little posts, as so you can see right here. On top the old braces. I want one in front here. It's a weak spot. This is pretty strong back here. So we're just going to put a little dab of super glue right here. A little dab right there. A little dab will do ya. Give a little squirt of my quick fix right here. That goes down. A little dab of glue right there. A little dab right here. Just, you don't want to lift it, just let that baby sit. I'll give it a little more score to this quick stuff. And there it is. It's not pretty, but I don't care. I just want to have something that sounds good and plays, plays well. Here's our cone with the spider bridge. Notice the name Beard in there. It's pretty much the best one you can get. As far as the cones, they come with the spider bridge. Here's our uh, saddles that I made. A top piece of ebony made out of hard maple. When you put these in, be sure to grab by the spider bridge. And push like that. Just don't push in here and push it in with the cone. Okay, the cone is set. It sets real nice and tight. So now, take our top, I've drilled out a couple of holes, not all of them, put that right there, now we always do this by hand and try to keep the same threads, never over tighten. Very important. You got metal on metal. Metal will buzz. We don't want no buzz out of our guitar. Okay. More here. Now I'll put the rest of these screws in after I get it strung up and ready to go. Right there. Okay. Our tailpiece. Screw that on. These are stainless steel screws. Don't want any electrolysis going on. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to go down to the store and get me some new strings. Now let's review. Cut the hole and set the neck. I, you can do this without taking the neck off. It's real easy to do without taking the neck off. I, I like to do that so I can get a little more height. Otherwise, these have to go down quite a bit. And I like 
I'd like a little more tension on the on the whole device to keep uh, gives a little more sound, a little more tone, get more little blues out of there. All right, well we did it. It's three o'clock. We made us a new Dover. I mowed the yard. I did the dishes. Gave the dog a bath. Planted the garden. Put a second story on the house. Now it's time to try out the new Dobro.